victory. Because the battle is won. Because the battle is won. Oh Lord, because you said it is finished, we shall walk in victory. Someone declare it for yourself. Declare it for yourself. Someone receive it in the name of Jesus. Someone declare it. Someone receive it. We shall operate with faith. Declare it. Open your mouth and declare. Speak to that situation in the name of Jesus. Speak to that situation in the name of Jesus. Command it to align to God's will. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. We give you glory. Someone just shout unto the Lord. Someone give him glory.
My brothers, my sisters, the Lord is with us. Hallelujah. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with me. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Let nobody cheat you. Let your faith not waver. Hallelujah. Stay, stay straight. Stay focused on the Lord. He is going to do mighty and great things. Praise the Lord. You know, when I saw that hand, I said, oh, hallelujah. You mean, God, you think about us each and every time. You know, sometimes you feel life, there's a lot of hopelessness. Praise the Lord. Sometimes you feel, am I even going to go another day? Where is this going to come from? Hallelujah. The Lord is watching over each and every one of us. Can you clap unto the Lord? Hallelujah to the Lord. He is indeed faithful. Praise the Lord. And that is what I want to talk about today. I want us to make our identity in the Lord sure. Praise the Lord. Because if you don't make your identity in the Lord sure, the Lord will not give you a sign that he is with you. Praise the Lord. If you don't put your roots deep into the Lord, the Lord will not show you that I am moving with you from one step to the other. Praise the Lord. The Lord is looking for a people who are fully surrendered and who know their identity. Hallelujah. What is your identity? Praise the Lord. I want you to tell your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. Who are you? I want answers. Just ask your neighbor, who are you? Ask your, your, your friend. Because I'm going to require answers. Who are you? Who are you? Amen. Hallelujah. Now some of them, I don't know their, their names. Praise the Lord. I'll start with Rosie. Rosie, what has your neighbor told you? Sister Elizabeth, what has your neighbor told you? We are not talking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want an answer. What has your neighbor told you? Sister Lois, what has your neighbor told you? I just say, <laughs> I just say, ma. How we gonna be? What me say, ma? What I just say, ma. What me say, ma. What me say, ma. Nini, Shalin, Sister Shalin, there. He is a child of God. Hallelujah. Who else has an answer? We gonna. We gonna what I just say, ma. Ray, brother Ray Situma. What has Mike told you? Right, okay. He is the what? I've just heard the producer. The what? And master? Hey, something what selector. And master of what? Oh, oh record selector. Master of record selector. Praise the Lord. Napa? Brown. Aha, uh -huh. I'm a Mwambia ni keyboardist. Praise the Lord. Most of the time when we are asked, who are you? Ata ukiniuliza, Sister Okello, who are you? Nitakuambia, mimi ni Sister Okello, na shiriki Crisco Donham Church. Praise the Lord. I am a teacher by profession. I have many children. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And I kept wondering, if the title of a teacher is removed from me, will I still be the same person? Praise the Lord. If the title of Sister Kelo is removed from me, will I still be the same person? Praise the Lord. If a hand, you know some of us go to the extent when you are doing your CV, unandika mpaka height, all right? 5.67, praise the Lord. Unandika age, married or single, hallelujah. Color of the eyes. That's how we identify ourselves. Praise the Lord. And that is how people identify 
ourselves. Hallelujah. We, we, we get identified by, you know, if you are asking, who is the Mama Kanisa of this church? Somebody does not know. You'll talk about that tall, dark lady who talks very loudly, praise the Lord. You know, you'll give all the characteristics of, of me. Hallelujah. That is what will happen. Amen. We are always looking for the outward appearance of a person. And most of the time, that is how we mistakenly think that we are. Or that is how we think that that is all who we are. What is physical in me does not make me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It does not make the whole me. It can only make the physical part of me. But the most important part of me is not what I, what I do, is not the, the, how I look, it's not how I talk, it is not what I have or what I don't have, praise the Lord. It isn't. We look at Maslow's theory of, it's called Maslow's theory of what? Of needs, eh? Pack a self-actualization. And there are people who have gone and tried to reach the self-actualization. But they crumble down, praise the Lord. They crumble down because of certain things that are not satisfied in their lives. They crumble down because of anxiety. They crumble down because of rejection, because of fear, praise the Lord. Look at somebody like Michael Jackson. At least we all know Michael Jackson. Hallelujah. He had everything that the world would want. I don't know the kind of house he had, but I know it was a very big house eh? in somewhere. You know, I don't know the, the very good explanation about it. But when he died, the doctors found two tablets in his stomach. Only two tablets. No food. It's even better they found food. Praise the Lord. The pastor was telling me that uh, see waluya, praise the Lord, see waluya, see jasema waluya. But he was saying, uh, whatever happens to you, eat fast. Eat fast. Chakula kwa. Kula kwanza. Then face the world. Praise the Lord. <laughs> eat fast. I think that's a good one. Eh? Eat fast. Missy jataja mutu. Nasijasema hiyo imetoka pahali. Nasijasema what you need to eat. Praise the Lord. But this man had all the food in the world. He had all the money in the world. He died a miserable death. Two tablets, painkillers in his stomach. An empty stomach with two tablets that have not even been digested. They can't even be digested. Sabab wakuna chakula ukondani. Hallelujah. What did he lack? Praise the Lord. His identity. And today that's why we are doing search for identity. Praise the Lord. King Solomon had everything. Praise the Lord. If you look at the book of Ecclesiastes 1, he had everything, everything. He had power. He had wealth. He had women, women. At least as we have one man, one woman. Praise the Lord. He even had women and concubines. Aliongeza. Praise the Lord. He even had wisdom. <laughs> the wisest of the wisest. Praise the Lord. But what did he say at the very end? Praise the Lord. In Ecclesiastes 1 verse 2, he says, Vanity of vanities. The search for satisfaction of the world is vanities of what? Vanities. Praise the Lord. You will search for a car. You will get that car. You will not be satisfied. You will search for a house. You will get that house. You will not be satisfied. You will search for money. Praise the Lord. We used to have a, one of the very most powerful ministers in this country. His name was Nicholas Biwot. Praise the Lord. He had all the money in the world. He had all the helicopters in the world. He had all the buses and all the good houses in the world. 
before his death, he was not even able to drive one of his cars. He would move from one matatu to the other. And then to get this man to take him to this place. Praise the Lord. He would not even eat food that is served to him. Praise the Lord. What would happen is, ukianza kukunywa soda yako, anakuja na chukua hiyo unakunywa. Vanities of what? I mean, vanity of what? Vanities. Hallelujah. Vanities of vanities. Vanity of vanities. And that's us today. We attach meaning. We attach life to success. Believing that those people who are successful have a life, have an identity, have wholeness. Praise the Lord. There was a time my sister here asked me, Mama, we una kwanka na shida yoyote. Praise the Lord. Do you have any problems? Praise the Lord. Kaseva, oh, I wish she knew. Hallelujah. We attach success and we equate it to that. That somebody is looking beautiful, somebody is successful, that is happiness. Praise the Lord. But somebody is poor, somebody is ill, somebody has failed many times, then there is hopelessness in that person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is not who we are. Praise the Lord. That is not our portion. Hallelujah. That is not our portion. Hallelujah. Let us look at the book of Romans 8, 16. Our growth... Our growth, our meaning, our fulfillment as a Christian is based on understanding our identity in Christ. Praise the Lord. As a child of God, your fulfillment, your meaning in life, your growth will come when you are able to understand identity, your identity in Christ. Praise the Lord. According to the Bible and according to God, we are whole. Praise the Lord. And we possess a life full of meaning and a life full of purpose. Because we are children of God. Praise the Lord. And so those who gave their answers when they were asked, who are you? And you said, I am a child of God. That is what counts. Praise the Lord. That is what counts. Hallelujah. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are children of God. I'm talking about those who are born again. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about believers. Praise the Lord. And I want to ask this question. Kuna yule ajaokoka katikati yetu. Sababu kama hujaokoka katikati yetu, wewe si mtoto wa mungu. Praise the Lord. Lakini ukiokoka, Ukitamuka na useme Bwana Yesu nimekuja leo kwako na amini ulinifi, ulinifilia msalabani. Praise the Lord. And you are the way, you are the truth and the life. I accept you in my life. Then you receive Jesus. Then you become a child of God. And so I ask, kuna yule ajaokoka. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Kama ujaokoka huitwi mwana wa Mungu lakini wewe na mimi ambao tumeokoka praise the lord tunaitwa wana wa Mungu praise the lord you have a spirit as a child of God and there is the spirit that comes from God the two 
are in communion and they are saying you are a what? A child of God. So today, our answer becomes different. Who are you? I am a child of God. Can you say, I am a child of God? Hallelujah. So the equation in God is God plus you equals your identity. Praise the Lord. Equals your wholeness. Equals your meaning. I am whole because I am in Christ. I am not whole because I have a car. Praise the Lord. I am not whole because I have a house. Hallelujah. I am not whole because I can preach in this altar. Praise the Lord. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you are whole. Praise the Lord. Can you say, I am whole because I believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ brings the wholeness in meaning. Total completeness. My identity is in Christ. Praise the Lord. Then why do we suffer from identity crisis as children of God? Why do we suffer from insecurity, from lack of significance? Praise the Lord. Why, 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 why? If I know I am a child of God and my meaning and wholeness and my purpose and everything in me is in Christ, then why do I suffer? Praise the Lord. Because we don't know who we are. Praise the Lord. You don't know who you are, I don't know who, we are, who I am. If I knew, and if you knew, praise the Lord, then we would not have a problem there will be no fear in your life. Praise the Lord. There will be no insecurity in your life. We don't know. And number one, we lack knowledge of who we are. Praise the Lord. The book of Hosea 4, 6. We are perishing because we lack knowledge. My brothers, my sisters, can we search the Bible and find out who you are in Christ? You are a child of God, but what wealth do you have? As a child of God, what wealth do you have? Praise the Lord. As a child of God, what is your power? Hallelujah. As a child of God, what can you do? Which exploits can you do? Praise the Lord. What is your position in relation to the enemy? Hallelujah. We, we suffer identity crisis because we lack knowledge. Praise the Lord. So we will look for who we are. Amen. The other thing is we suffer because there is deception. And we want, we want to go by what the devil is telling you. The father of lies, praise the Lord. The father of lies will come. After all, that is what he's doing. He's moving around looking for who should I devour this time? Who should I confuse this time? Who should I irritate? Who should I bring down here? Who should I make cry and not go to church? Praise the Lord. Where can I get, where there's this? How can I bring conflict here? That's what the devil is doing. Praise the Lord. And we believe. Praise the Lord. You believe what the devil is telling you. And so the devil is telling you, number one, you are a drug addict. Shindwe, you are not. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are not a drug addict. Praise the Lord. Somebody says, ah, because of my tribe, you know, ah, wachana na iyo kitu, iyo kazi siwezi pata. Sahi. Na vile rahila anatetemesha Kenya. Praise the Lord. And I am a lure. I'm not going to get that job. Shame on you. Praise the Lord. That job is yours because you are a child of but we identify ourselves with our tribes. Praise the Lord. You identify yourself with your tribe. 
You identify yourself with a, your abilities. Mimi sijaenda shule. Sasa hiyo job. Is there any need of, um, of even applying for it? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. The father of lies will tell you that it is not possible. There was a time uh, I wanted, when I was young, around, uh, I was in high school, I really wanted to play the guitar. Praise the Lord. So I got some very old man back home, eh? Uh, in our village, I'm a village girl. Here I was. <laughs> Let me not talk about that. But I realized we have city girls and village girls. So here I was telling me the other day, Mom, you know I'm not a village girl. So when there's blackout, I just don't know what to do. You, you are okay because you have grown up in darkness. <laughs> So we have city girls and we have uh, uh, we have village girls. So me, I'm a village girl. So there's this old man and he used to drink, praise the Lord. So I really, I really wanted to know how to play. But he, he didn't have the knowledge of teaching. He had the knowledge of playing, praise the Lord. <laughs> so he would, tell me, he would tell me, hold this, hold this. But he would not give me the clusters. I hear the clusters. You hold this, then he, then this, then. So he would not give me that. And then he was not patient. So I went there for around two, three weeks. Then finally he told me, your fingers are too long. They can't hold the, the, the strings. So I also grew up knowing I have very long fingers. Praise the Lord. The lie of the devil. And I came to realize that it is the long fingers that are needed in playing the, these things. And imagine, I stopped going for those practices because I was told I have what? Long fingers. You see the way the devil will deceive you. The devil will tell you it is not possible. Praise the Lord. But if your identity is in Christ, you will look for answers in the Lord. You will not look for answers outside the realm of what? The realm of God. Praise the Lord. So we have false beliefs that are brought by the enemy. Hallelujah. So in trying to unravel our identity, I think there are two things that I want to talk about that are very important that we should know. Hallelujah. As a child of God, there are two things that I think we should know. Praise the Lord. Of course, there are many, many others. But I think we should know these two important things. That they should be deep within our hearts. We should believe them. And we let them be established in our hearts. And we move with them. Praise the Lord. Number one. Being a Christian is not being something. It is being someone. Praise the Lord. When you become a Christian, when you become a believer, you are, you are, you are born again. Praise the Lord. I was thinking about the term born again. Praise the Lord. When a child is born, we get to know the child at that time. We get to know, oh, this child is dark. He has hair. He has no hair. Praise the Lord. This child is a male or female unless you went for a scan. Sometimes even the scans will not tell you the truth. Praise the Lord. You get to know the real person when that child is born. Praise the Lord. Why is salvation called being born again? Praise the Lord. Why do we talk about I am born again? It means you are no longer who you are. Hallelujah. You are no longer, and that's a mystery, praise the Lord. You remain in this physical body, but you are not that same person. The Lord has transformed you. There is an overhaul, praise the Lord. Can we say overhaul? You, you become 
another masterpiece of the Lord. Praise the Lord. You become what the Bible says, a new creation. Praise the Lord. Can you say, I am a new creation? It means the way you think changes. The Lord takes it up. The way you behave changes. It gets into the pattern of the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord now directs you. The way you walk, the way you move, the way you think. Hallelujah. You are a new creation. Praise the Lord. The book of 2 Corinthians, sorry, 5.17. 2 Corinthians 5.17. We want to look at what the Bible says about being a new creation. Praise the Lord. Therefore, in, if any man be in Christ, are you in Christ? He is a new creature. All things have passed away. Praise the Lord. The Lord does not now think about, oh, this one came from the village. Praise the Lord. This one is the fourth born. Praise the Lord. This one did A, B, C, D. Hallelujah. No. Things have, behold, all things have become new. When a child is born, the diapers are new, the, the bottle is new, everything is what? Is new in the pattern of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we must perceive that in the spirit. You must believe and you must behave. Three things. You must perceive it in the spirit. You must believe it. Praise the Lord. Do you know what? Even if you don't believe it, it is true. Hallelujah. Even if we don't believe it, it is what? It is true. And we behave. Amen. Can we change the perception of ourselves by believing the truth? You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. John 8, verse 32. Let us not perceive wrongly. If you perceive wrongly, you will move wrongly. You will live wrongly. Praise the Lord. If you perceive rightly, then you will live rightly. Praise the Lord. If I perceive rightly that I am a child of God, I am a new being, I am in the pattern of God, I am now in the kingdom of God, praise the Lord, I am now a partaker of the kingdom of God, I am a partaker of the things in the kingdom of God, I walk with the spirit, I have power that was released at Calvary and that power is able to work within me and I am able to do exploits. I can now believe that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am now healed. I now believe that let the rich, the poor, say that I am, that they are rich so that even when I am poor I will believe that I am rich. When I am sick I will believe that I am well in Jesus name because that is the pattern of the Lord. Glory to the Father. Hallelujah. You are now a new creation. Praise the Lord. Walking in the patterns of your Father who has now washed you and made you whole? Who has made you, sa saved you from that old field and brought you into his marvelous light? Praise the Lord. So can we believe so that we live rightly? Hallelujah. And now let the wind say. Let the poor say, I am, because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give 
is given, Jesus Christ, his son, and now let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. So the devil will bring lies and he'll tell you you are poor and he'll tell you you are weak. Praise the Lord. And he'll tell you you are not able to. What has the Lord done? What does the kingdom of God say? And now, you are weak. Say, I am strong. Believe it. Praise the Lord. Believe it. Believe it. Behave it. Praise the Lord. If you don't behave it, the devil atakucha na atakukanyaga. Hallelujah. Because you don't behave it. And because you don't believe it. Hallelujah. So believe it and behave it. Hallelujah. That is the first one. That as children of God, our identity is in Christ. Believe you are a new creation. Hallelujah. Believe you are a new creation. The second thing, number two, you are a saint. Hallelujah. You are a what? The first one we said, you are born again. You are a new creation. The second one is a Christian, a believer, is a saint. Tell yourself, I am a saint. Hallelujah. We are saints. A saint is a holy person. Hallelujah. Whether you want to believe you are holy or not, you are holy. <laughs> and that's how God looks at you. Praise the Lord. Why do you look at yourself like a sinner? And God is looking at you like a holy person. Praise the Lord. When I have a Porsche as my daughter, she is my daughter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She is my daughter. She got the privileges of the house. Hallelujah. And whether she wants not to partake of them or not, the fact remains those privileges are hers. Hallelujah. As children of God, the Lord has made you and me a saint. Hallelujah. You and me, we are saints. Hallelujah. We are saints. Let's look at the book of 1 Corinthians 1 and 2. And even the book of Jude that our brother read for us today. Who is a saint? Amen. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 2. And to the church of God, who is at Corinth? Are we the church of God? And where are we? In Don Home. I can't read that one too. So you have to open it to that. To them, oh, here there's something. There is a timer. To them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints. Praise the Lord. What makes you a saint? You are called. 
Praise the Lord. It is not by our works. It is not by our prayers. It is not by what we do and what we don't do. It is because the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has called me and you and immediately does that. He makes you a believer and you become a saint. Brethren, we are saints. Hallelujah. Jude 1.1. 1, 1. Praise the Lord. Jude 1.1. 1, 1. I don't know if he wants to leave. Jude 1.1. 1, 1. Maybe just before we... Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called... Would have gone to two. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is it is just as simple, <laughs> as simple as that. Simple, calling you. Not by what we do. Praise the Lord. Not by our hard work. Hallelujah. Therefore, there's no condemnation for you and for me. As long as I am in Christ Jesus, I am a saint. Praise the Lord. It's not by the level of my maturity. No. It's not by how many hours I'm able to pray. Praise the Lord. It's not by how much I am able to divide the word. Praise the Lord. Or how much I am able to clean and serve and do evangelism. No. Simple calling makes you and me a saint. A saint is a holy person. Praise the Lord. Romans 1, 7. Saints are holy. Praise the Lord. Now let us not just take it for granted. I am a saint. I am a saint. Praise the Lord. Saints are people who are rightfully living with the Lord. Hallelujah. You have been called by the Lord and you have surrendered to that cause. Hallelujah. Romans 1, 7. Oh, it has gone off. It's still talking about the same, same thing. Praise the Lord. Of us. He's talking about those in Rome, beloved, called to be saints. This one is the one that's not working. Praise the Lord. We are therefore saints. A saint is a holy person, a righteous person. Praise the Lord. You are righteous. Please believe. Praise the Lord. Believe. Because what is compromising our identity is failure to do what? To believe. I'm not proud. It is what the privilege I get when I get into the kingdom of God. If people want to think it is pride, let them think it is pride. But I am a saint because that's what the Bible says and that's what I believe and that's how I behave. Praise the Lord. So we have to behave like saints. We have to behave like righteous people. Praise the Lord. Even though a believer sins, <laughs> but we are not sinners. Praise the Lord. I was a sinner. Hallelujah. Jesus came into my life. Jesus saved me sanctified me, and he has now called me to be a saint. That was done. It is a done deal. Praise the Lord. If I fall short of the glory of God, in this kingdom where I am called a saint, there is a solution. And where is the solution? The blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I become a, I'm not a sinner. I am a saint. But a saint can fall. Praise the Lord. Look at the prodigal son. <laughs> Hallelujah. He had all his messes. But when he went back to his father, he was received with love. Praise the Lord. A lot of love and celebration. That is how God is to us. Praise the Lord. So... We walk like saints. We behave like saints. When we fall, we get to Calvary. That is in this kingdom where I am to called a saint. I get sanctified and I continue walking with the liberty and with the freedom of a what? A saint. Hallelujah. Can you shout and tell yourself, I am a saint. 
Hallelujah. Even Paul says in the book of 1 Timothy 1, 15. 1 Timothy 1, 15. I'm just about to wind up. 1 Timothy talks about, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. Oh, okay. There's a word called acceptation. That Christ Jesus came into the world. He came to save sinners of whom I am chief. Move on. Move on to verse 16. How be it for this cause I obtained mercy. Praise the Lord. And that's what we did. We did what? We obtained mercy. That in me, first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should there hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Paul is saying, it's a worthy saying. Jesus came, he died for sinners. And then, whom he says he was chief among the sinners. And, that's, and it's true, he was chief. He was persecuting the Christians. He killed many of them. Praise the Lord. He didn't want to hear anything about what? About Jesus. But now by his mercy, he was saved. That through him, many shall also see the glory of the Lord that came through his long suffering. Praise the Lord. We obtained mercy. If you are born again, you obtained mercy. I obtained mercy, and he called us, and we are now saints. Praise the Lord. Our identity remains. Praise the Lord. Statistics show that the word saints appears 240 times in the Bible. In the New Testament, actually. 240 times. To refer to believers. Praise the Lord. Believers, believe it. You are a what? You are a saint. And sinners, it appears 330 times to refer to unbelievers. So those who are not born again are unbelievers. They are sinners. Those who are born again, you and me, we are what? We are saints. We are becoming more like Christ. Praise the Lord. We are the elected ones, the chosen ones. The book of Romans 8, 29 to 30, it talks about us even before we knew it. God chose us. Praise the Lord. Oh, I give you glory and honor. Imagine, he chose you. He chose me. Praise the Lord. He predestined your walk and my walk even before we knew it. Praise the Lord. And he chose you, and he chose you, me, and he set us apart, praise the Lord, to carry out what he wants us to carry in his kingdom. Praise the Lord. So you are sanctified. He showed you mercy, he sanctified you, and he has made you a saint. Praise the Lord. The book of 1 Peter 1, 2. First Peter 1, 2. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Who are you? The saints. If you look at verse 1, eh? it talks about Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered through Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Praise the Lord. Verse 2. Elect. You see, you are an elect. Praise the Lord. You are an elect. Can we believe it? The problem we have, we don't know our identity. We you are an elect of the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's how special you are. Hallelujah. That's how special you are, and that's how special I am. Praise the Lord. 
The genes of God is right in your veins. Praise the Lord. Developing you. Praise the Lord. Moving with you one step at a time. Making you mature in the Lord. Waiting to be glorified. To be crowned. Praise the Lord. You only become a sinner when you stop moving with the Lord. We have sung the song, I will cling to the old rugged cross. Praise the Lord. I will move. Now that I'm in the kingdom of God, I will cling to this kingdom of God. I will walk in obedience to the kingdom of God until I get the crown that the Lord has prepared for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, because we are saints, <laughs> we share in Christ's inheritance. That is number three. I said there were two. Kumbe, there were three. Praise the Lord. Number one, I am a new creation. Number two, I am a saint. Number three, I share in the law Christ's inheritance. Praise the Lord. We must perceive it. We must believe it. We must behave in that pattern. Hallelujah. We share in Christ's inheritance. Romans 8 again, 16 to 17. Uh, that I may not want to go to because of time. But we identify with Christ. Praise the Lord. We identify in Christ's death. Maybe you can just note it down so that we move, as we, so that we finish. We identify with Christ's death. Romans 6, verse 3 and verse 6. We identify in Christ's resurrection. Praise the Lord. Again, Romans 6, 5 8 and 11. We identify in Christ's ascension, going to heaven. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 2, verse 6. We identify in the life of Christ. Romans 6, 10 and 11. We identify in Christ's power. Praise the Lord. The power that was released by Christ at Calvary. We identify with that power. Ephesians 1, 19 to 20. And we identify in Christ's inheritance. Romans 8. We were at Romans 8. 16 to 17. Praise the Lord. Maybe we just read Romans 8, 16 to 17. The Spirit itself, we had read it before, beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. 17. And if children, then we are heirs. Praise the Lord. The inheritance of God God, we are heirs of that inheritance. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. That's why we identify with Christ. Praise the Lord. Elder Sos Peter, the other day, we are tell was telling us we are gods. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Of course, gods with a small g, not with a big g. He was telling us, you are an heir. Praise the Lord. We are joint heirs with Christ. What, is in, what Christ has is what I have. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is what, how precious you and me are. Hallelujah. Joint heirs with Christ. If so be that, we suffer with him that we may also be glorified together. That's why we are saying we identify in his suffering. So when you're going through suffering, he did. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
will get to heaven. The Lord will come. If you die before the rapture, then what will happen? When the Lord comes on the rapture day, the grave will be opened. You will meet with him in the air. And some of us will still be alive. Praise the Lord. You'll be transformed. Praise the Lord. We, uh, we identify with him in his ascension. We identify with him in his power. Praise the Lord. You have power, my brother. You have power, my sister. Praise the Lord. Power to dismantle anything that comes your way. Praise the Lord. Power to overcome because he overcame. Praise the Lord. He did. And he did it for you and me so that I may be a partaker. And because I am a joint heir with him, that power that he had, I also have. Praise the Lord. We identify in his inheritance. Praise the Lord. Do you identify in the Lord's inheritance? These characters are true. You cannot change them. Praise the Lord. The best you can do is make them meaningful and productive in your life. It's like you have been given a check. If you want to keep the check under the bed, it will stay there. If you want to remove the check and take it to the bank and let the money help you, you can do it. The choice is yours and the choice is mine. Praise the Lord. The enemy will fear you when he knows you know who you are. But he will trample on you when he knows you don't have your identity. Hallelujah. We've done only three. But there are many, many others in the Bible. I am a chosen generation. I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. A people of God's own possession. Book of First Peter 2, verse 9 and 10. I am a joint heir with the Father. I am united with God. Praise the Lord. The list is endless. Praise the Lord. Make a list of who you are. I am a saint. We have talked about that. Make a list of who you are in Christ. Look at that list. Recite that list in your life. The more you recite, the more you believe. The more you talk about it, the more you believe. The more you act it, the more you believe. Brother Sylvester was helping us in the morning. And he was saying, the greatest contention we have to fight with as children of God is unbelief. Praise the Lord. Unbelief. When you don't believe in your identity, you cannot partake the blessings of God. Praise the Lord. We have to believe in our identity. We have to walk in that identity. Praise the Lord. We have to cling to that identity. Praise the Lord. Jesus says, I am the vine, the true vine, and you are the branches. When we stick to him, we are able to produce good fruits. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only in our identity that we become alive. It is only in our identity that all these other things are added unto us. Praise the Lord. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33. And its righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. 
when we find things added unto us because we are in our identity, those things will add no sorrow. We will not crumble because of fear. We will not crumble because of an anxiety. May the Lord help us. Praise the Lord. To know our identity. Can we stand on our feet?